Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial we are going to be doing a crochet along for Theo the Teddy. This is going to be a two-part series. The first part is going to include the head, the snout, the face details, the face shaping, the eyes and the ears. Part two of this series will include the body, the arms, the legs and the tail. So let's gather some supplies and we'll get started. So for today's project, I'm going to be using this baby snuggle yarn in a light brown for my color A yarn or the body. And I'm going to be using this honey bunny yarn in kind of like a beigey taupe color. And this is going to be for the snout. I'm also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, some safety eyes. I'm using 16 millimeter safety eyes, a darning needle, a stitch marker, some fabric pins. You're going to need some black yarn to shape the face as well as create the nose and some fiber fill. The stitches that you're going to need to know how to do to complete this project is a magic ring, a single crochet, a slip stitch, an increase stitch, a decrease stitch, and a double crochet. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so to begin this project, we are gonna start with the head. So you're gonna need your color A yarn, whatever that is for you. And to begin, we're going to create a magic ring. Now, if there's any stitches you're unsure of how to create, I will link a few tutorials in the description box below uh, for you to watch prior to creating this project. So once we have our magic ring completed, we're going to place eight single crochets within the ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're just going to pull our ring closed. And there is round one. Now here's where you're going to want to place a stitch marker if you have one just kind of like this. I personally, when I'm creating amigurumi, I like to use a strand of yarn that's of smaller weight than what I'm working with. And basically what I do is I just place it right in front of my very last stitch of row one. And that's going to mark the beginning and the end of each round for me. So now we're going to move on to round two. So for round two, we're going to do an increase stitch in each stitch around. So an increase stitch is two stitches in one. So we're going to insert our hook into this first stitch and we're going to place a single crochet. And then we're going to go right back into this same stitch and we're going to place another single crochet. Then we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do that all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. So there's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And that is round two completed. Now with my stitch marker I'm just going to bring it up and right in front of my very last stitch again and I'm just going to crochet right over top of it for round three. Now for round three we're going to do the combination single crochet and an increased stitch. So single crochet and an increase in the next stitch over single crochet and increase and we're going to repeat this a total of eight times and you should have 24 stitches at the end of round three and there is round three complete 
move our stitch marker up again and we're going to move on to row four and for row four we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. And that is row four complete. Now moving on to row five, we're going to do the combination single crochet two and an increased stitch. So one, two, and an increase. Repeat that one, two, and increase. And you should repeat this eight times for a total stitch count of 32 at the very end. One, two, increase. So I will complete row five off camera and I'll meet you back here for round six. All right, now moving on to round six, we are going to place 32 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And for row seven, we are going to do the combination single crochet three and an increase. So one, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. And we're gonna repeat this eight times for a stitch count of 40 at the end of this round. So I will finish round seven off camera and I'll meet you back here for round eight. All right, and that is row seven completed. So moving on to row eight, we are going to be doing a single crochet round. So single crochet 40, and we're going to do this for rows eight through 14. So that's seven rows. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So 40 single crochets for rows eight through 14. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I will finish rows eight through 14 off camera and I will meet you back here for row 15. All right, and that is row eight to 14 completed. So moving on to row 15, we're gonna start decreasing. So for row 15, we're gonna do the combination single crochet three, and a decrease. One, 
two, three. And I like to do an invisible decrease. So what that means is we're gonna grab the front loop only of this next stitch and the front loop of the stitch after. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. Yarn over and pull through. That's a decrease. Now we're gonna do that again. One, two, three, decrease. Now we're gonna repeat this eight times and you should have 32 stitches at the end of row 15. And that is row 15 completed. Moving on to row 16, we're going to do 32 single crochets around. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will complete row 16 off camera and I'll meet you back here for round 17. All right, and for round 17, we're gonna do the combination single crochet two and a decrease. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease. And you're gonna repeat this eight times for a stitch count of 24 at the end of round 17. So I will complete this off camera and I'll meet you back here for the next step. All right, so once we have completed round 17 of the head, we are going to stuff our head. So I'm just going to take some fiber fill and I'm just gonna start stuffing. Now you don't want it to be so full that your stitches are separating, um, but you also want it to be full enough that you're keeping your shape. So what I like to do is I like to just put some in and then I'm just going to sweep it to the outside and then I'm going to fill the center a little bit and that just ensures that all the corners of my head are going to be filled. Now this isn't the last time we're going to be stuffing so you don't have to have all the stuffing in that you are going to need. Um, we will add some more as we go. So once we have stuffed our head, we're actually going to leave this last piece open for now. We will come back and close it. But first we're gonna create the snout and attach the eyes as well while we're still open. And then once we have attached the snout and the eyes, then we will finish up closing on the head. So we'll start on the snout now. So we are just going to put our head to the side unfinished and we are going to grab our color B yarn and for me that's this beige color and we are going to start on the snout. Mm -hmm. So to begin for the snout we're going to make a magic ring and inside that magic ring we are going to crochet eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll close that up. And there is our first row of the snow complete. Now I'm gonna take my stitch marker and I'm just going to place that right in front of my last stitch and we're gonna move on to the second round. So for round two, we're gonna do increased stitches in every stitch around. So two single crochets in one. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six. And we're gonna repeat this eight times. We should have 16 stitches at the end. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Move our stitch marker up and on to round three. We're going to do the combination single crochet three increase. So one, two, three, increase. Do that again. One, two, three, and increase. And we're going to do this a total of four times. And you should have a stitch count of 20 at the end of round three. Three, increase. And one more. One, Two, three, increase. And there is round three completed. Now moving on to round four, we're going to do 20 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. And that is round four complete. All right, now for round five, we're going to repeat that and just place 20 single crochets all the way around. Is this note completed. So we will just remove our stitch marker and place a slip stitch and then cut about 12 to 16 inches for a tail because we're going to be using this to attach to our head. Now we will stuff when we're sewing it on. Okay, so now we have our head that is half finished. I'm going to start attaching the snout. Now the snout is going to go on rows eight to 14. So what I like to do is just count down from the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna place a pin here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's kind of where we're looking at for our snout placement. Now what I'm going to do is just take my snout and I'm just going to roughly place it right where my needles are. double count just to make sure now you'll kind of notice that the space that we have it placed here it's not going to be perfectly circular which which is what we want we want it to be kind of 
um, a little bit more oval, but not fully oval. So you're going to notice that it's going to be a little bit longer um, going out to the sides, which is what we want. So once we have our snout placed, we're just going to place our yarn end on our darning needle here. And we're just going to sew this on. Now we will stuff, but we are just going to stuff when we're about halfway sewn on. So just try and keep the position as best you can of the snout as you're sewing it on. Don't forget to remove your um, your one pin you placed to remember where you're crocheting. All right. So when we're about you know halfway or three quarters of the way sewn, we're going to stuff our snout. So I'm just going to take some fiber fill here. I'm just going to stuff that and then I'm just going to continue along all right and once our snout is sewn on we will just tie a little knot here A snag here. So cut that. I'm just going underneath that loop to create your knot. And we can just push that right into this open hole. And just place that in. And there is our snout attached. All right, so now we're going to create the nose of the snout. Now we're going to be, I'm going to be using uh, this black medium white yarn. And to pair with it, I'm going to be using a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. I just find with this baby snuggle yarn, this is the hook I like to use to create the right size nose. So to begin, we're going to create a magic ring. So once we have our magic ring, we are going to place a series of stitches and I'm going to go through them with you. I'm just going to bring you in here. So to start, we're going to place one single crochet. So insert yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Next, we're going to place a double crochet. Now we're going to chain one. And we're going to place another double crochet. Next, we're going to place two single crochets. One two, then a double crochet, then a chain, then another double crochet, and one single crochet. 
and this is what you're looking like right now. So once you're at this point, we're going to pull our magic ring closed and that is what you should have. It's a little squared cornered rectangle. Now to finish off this nose, we are going to find the first stitch that we made, which is right here. And we're going to insert our hook and we're gonna place a single crochet here. And that's going to create the little point of our nose. Now we're just going to cut 12 inches. I'm just going to yarn over and pull through that. And there is our little nose that we're going to sew onto our snout. Now, I'm just going to zoom us back out a little bit. Now here's our head and our snout is just right here and we're gonna place our nose right one, two, three on rows two and three, one, two and three, sorry, just like this, right in the center. So I'm just gonna place a couple pins just to secure this down so I can see it. I need to make any movements I can. Just like that is what I'm going for. And once we are in the correct place of where you want your uh, nose to go, once again, we're going to grab our darning needle and our yarn end and we're going to thread that through and we're just gonna start sewing this on. Now this yarn tail, you can just cut it short and just tuck that inside before we close off this space. And there is our snout sewn on. So I am just going to push this yarn through to the bottom. So once we have our little nose attached, we're going to create some, sn some snout lines. So I'm just gonna take some more of this medium weight black yarn and I'm gonna place it on my darning needle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go from underneath the body here and I'm just going to insert my needle right where your yarn first begins from where you sewed on the nose. I just like to get it kind of in between the strands of yarn so it looks like it's centered and it like it belongs. Just be hard to get in there, there we go. Now once we're in there, we're going to go down two rows. We're gonna insert our hook, or our needle, sorry. So we're gonna insert our needle right below so you're gonna get a straight line. And then we're gonna push it over about one, two, about three stitches in the bottom of 
row two. We're going to push that through. And you should have a straight line down the center for your snout line. And this strand over here, we're creating the smile. So you should be over about two, three stitches. Then we're going to go right back into this same stitch. And then we're going to push our hook over about the same distance on either side, two, three stitches. So you should have a little smile there. And then we're going to insert right back into the center and push it all the way back down underneath to create the other side of the smile. Just like that. And when you're completed that, you can just tie off a little knot here. Not too tight because you don't want it to pull. And we can also tie a knot for our um, nose uh, end strand here. And then I just cut my yarn. And then we can just tuck those yarn ends right inside. And there is our nose and our snout lines and our little smile. So next, before we uh, finish up the head here, we're going to place our eyes. Now I've decided to use safety eyes for this guy, but you can also embroider eyes. Um, but I'm going to place these eyes right on row seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's row seven and here's row eight, about one stitch away from your snout on either side. I'm gonna place it in the same spot. Now I know it's gonna look a little silly right now, but once we shape the face, it will look more normal. And then once you're happy with the placement of your eyes, we're just going to attach those on with Vax. I'm just going to bring out my stuffing again. And place just a little bit more here. So there is the eyes attached and next we will move on to finishing up the head. Alright so finishing up the bottom of the head we are going to be working on row 18 now and for row 18 we're going to do the combination single crochet and a decreased stitch. So one single crochet and our invisible decrease again. So front loop, front loop. And we're gonna repeat that eight times and you should have 16 stitches at the end of row 18. Perfect, and that is row 18. And then our last round, round 19, we're going to complete one decrease stitch in every stitch around but before we do that we'll just add whatever stuffing you need to um, because this is going to be the closing round so you're not going to have a very big hole at the end of this round so just make sure you have all the stuffing you want and we will do our last final round of eight decrease stitches and at the end of this round, you should have eight stitches as well. Okay. 
All right, so once we're completed that, I'm just gonna remove my stitch marker here. And I'm just gonna place a slip stitch into the very next stitch. And I'm gonna cut my yarn, which this is actually the end of the ball, so that worked out really well. And I'm just gonna pull that through. And then I'm going to take a smaller hook. So this is a 3.25 millimeter hook. And I'm just gonna go under the front loop of each stitch around and I'm going to bring my tail through. Only in the front loop. And this is gonna help you not have any holes. Just bring that tail all the way through you. and pull it and pull it it's going to close up that hole and then we will just place a knot as well i just like to have extra security that it's going to stay put and then i will just weave in my end and there is the head complete all right, so once our head is complete, we will sh uh, shape the face. So again, I'm just gonna grab some black medium weight yarn. It does not have to be black, it can be any color. And I'm gonna place it on my darning needle here. Now we're just gonna bring the eyes in a little bit and just give them a little bit of dimension. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our needle and we're going to insert it in the top corner of the eye on the inside. Next we're going to push it through to the other side in the exact same spot. And you want to get it as close to the eye as you possibly can. And that is what we're looking like right now. Now with this still attached, we're now going to go down to the bottom of the eye as close as we can get it. And we're going to push that down to underneath the head. And then we're going to re repeat that on the other side. We're just going to take that end and we're going to put it on the needle. Move this down and then through the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull these ends and what you're going to notice is your eyes are going to be brought in. You can bring them in a lot or not a ton, just depends on the look you're looking to get. But you just bring in the eyes according to how you want it to look. There is no right or wrong way here. And once you have your eyes in the place that you want them to be, we're just going to tie a knot. And if you've made it a little bit too tight before you fully tie your knot, you can just kind of pull them out with your needle. And I'm just going to tie my knot here and cut my ends and weave in those ends. Just like that. Now we're also going to create some eyebrows. So what we're gonna do for that is we're going to take, again, I'm gonna use medium weight black yarn and my darning needle here. And I'm going to place my needle up and about one stitch over from the eye. Just right here. I'm gonna push that through. Now I'm going to go up about one, two, three rows and about to the center of the eye. Then I'm going to push this over 
to the same spot on the other side. And I'm going to repeat that over here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to push my yarn here over to the other side to meet with my other yarn end so that I can tie a knot and weave those ends in. Just make sure you're not tying too tight of a knot or you will change the shape of your eyebrows. They will get lost in your yarn. So cut that and then we will just weave those in. And there are your eyebrows attached. All right, moving on to the ears, we're going to grab our color A yarn again, whatever it is you use for the head, and we're going to start off with a magic ring again. And for our magic ring, we are going to make eight single crochets within the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll just close our ring. And place our stitch marker. And that is round one complete. Now for round two, we're going to do an increased stitch in each stitch around. So two single crochets in one. So one, two, three, four. And you should have 16 stitches at the end of this round. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now for round three, we're going to do the combination single crochet and increase. So two stitches in one, single crochet and increase, and we'll repeat this eight times for a final stitch count of 24. I will finish row three off camera and I'll meet you back here for round four. All right, now for rows four and five, we're gonna do 24 single crochets. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for both rows four and five. I will keep, I will complete rows four and five off camera and I'll meet you back here for round six. All right, and that is row five and six completed. Now moving on to round seven, we're going to do the combination single crochet and a decrease. So we're gonna do our invisible decreases again. So single crochet and a decrease. Single crochet. And a decrease, single crochet, decrease, and we're going to repeat this eight times, and you should have 16 stitches at the end of this row. All right, and that is round six, and then our last round is round seven, and for that, we are going to do the combination 
again of single crochet and a decrease. And we're gonna do that five times. So single crochet, decrease. That's one. Single crochet, decrease, that's two, single crochet, decrease, that's three, single crochet, decrease, that's four, and single crochet decrease is five. And you should have one stitch left, and so we'll just place one single crochet in that stitch. And you should have 11 stitches around for row seven. Once you've completed that, we'll remove our stitch marker, insert into the next stitch, and place a slip stitch. And Cut about 12 to 16 inches for sewing on. And we'll just pull that right through. And you're just gonna fold your uh, ear in half here. And that is what we're looking like for our ear. Now you're gonna need to complete two of these obviously. So I would just go back, rewatch the ear part of this tutorial to make your second ear, and then we will meet back here to sew them on the head. All right, so once we have both our ears completed, we will sew them on. So we will just grab our head. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these ears on rows five to seven. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna count down five rows. So here's one, two, three, four, this is row five. And we're also going to go back about five, four to five rows from this center here. So, so here's one, two, three, four. So about right here, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place a pin here. And we're going to attach it to row seven as well. So five to seven, so five, six, and seven. So I'll put that on the bottom of row seven. So this is kind of the area where we're going to attach our first ear. Now we're going to be attaching this open edge here and it's gonna sit about right here like that. So I'm just gonna move this, sorry, down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just kind of like that. And then once I have it, I'm just gonna actually do this straight up and down. Once I have it kind of where I want it, I'm going to place some pins just to anchor it for now. So that I can get kind of a good visual of what it's gonna look like before I start sewing. Because there's nothing worse than sewing and having to take it all out. So that's kind of what we're looking like. And the other ear is gonna go on the same spot on the other side, but we're gonna wait to attach the other ear because it's just easier to attach them um, one at a time. So once we're happy with the placement, we're just gonna take our darning needle and then we're gonna attach our yarn end and we're just going to sew this on here. Now you want it to be around row seven. It doesn't have to be exact if it's you know on row eight or row nine, it does not matter. This is just a guide so that you kind of have it in the correct area of the head, but if it's you know a couple stitches off then that is totally fine. Just remove these pins as we go. Just 
can take that one out. And this happens sometimes if you've, I just put this one a little bit too far into row four, which is not where I want it. I want it in row five. So I just pulled that out. And I'm just gonna put this right where my anchor was. Now before I finish sewing on the front, I just like to, now that the back is sewn on, I just like to adjust it exactly how I want it before sewing on the front. So once that's sewn on, we will just place a little knot. So I just like to go right beside the base here and I'm just going to place a knot. And then I'm just going to push this down into the bottom of the head. I'm not going to do anything with that just yet because I'm going to bring the other ears, ear and tail down here as well, and we can tie them off there. So there's the first ear attached. So we're just going to repeat that for the other side. So one, one two, three, four, so five. One, two, three, four. So there's my markings for this other side. It's going to go about there. And just making sure that they're evenly placed from the top. And then again, I'm just going to pin these down quickly. And then once I'm happy with that, again, I'm just going to place this on my darning needle and I'm going to sew it on. Once that's sewn on, we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Just tie a knot here. And then I'm just going to push this all the way down to meet up with the previous tail from the other ear. And then I'm just gonna tie a knot here for extra security, just to make sure our ears don't come out. And then I'm just gonna cut, oopsies, cut my yarn tails there. And then I just like to use a smaller 
crochet hook and I'm just gonna weave those in. And that is our teddy bear head completed. And that is the end of part one. Head over to part two to do the body, the arms, the legs, and the tail. We'll see you there. Bye.